These are the actual Gardenia metal instruments that exist today. Some of them, right? There are three of them. Which is really nice because obviously handles are going to be one thing that we're going to make a lot of contact with, especially stuff like this that is interchangeable, right? So I would say this is a great idea here. But yeah, it feels like regular titanium. Something like this passes back and forth from the scrub technician exactly. to the yep. surgeon multiple times. And each time there's a handoff, there's a chance. Yep. Yeah. And but then look at this. This is how the stem goes in and out. That little thing can be a place where you trap debris and then bacteria contaminates it and grows in there. And then the suction, I mean, there's a whole channel going all the way through. Yeah, exactly. I'm most excited about the suction, but I can see how all these things, if we can make everything like this out of gardenium, it may make a big difference and it's easy to do. So the company is making these pretty big claims. And I guess one thing that I really want to know is how did they figure this out? I mean, are they sitting there taking swabs every time interval, trying to check to see how much bacterial growth? How they know how much bacteria is actually on them. Well, what they did was they had infectious material that they placed onto the metal, and then they would take that metal and introduce it into a Petri dish of growing material, so to speak, and using optical microscopy, study at time intervals how many colony forming units of bacteria were still there. And the way that machine would work was that it could tell the difference between a live bacteria and a dead one, because the dead one, based on what we we talked about at the very beginning has its cell membrane ruptured and to this microscope looks different and so they can count the number of still alive cells that are there until there are no still alive cells in about a couple hours.